Hello guys, welcome to the fourth video on PHP programming tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we are going to write our first hello world code in PHP. So first of all, uh, we will start our Apache server. So go to your start menu and in here search for XAMPP, which we have installed and open XAMPP control panel from here. From here. So open this XAMPP control panel. And when this control panel starts, we need to start the Apache server, right? And in this Notepad++, by the meantime, we are going to uh, write our uh, code and just go to your uh, folder wherever you have installed this XAMPP server or XAMPP folder in your computer. So in the second video, I have shown you how to install XAMPP. So go to that folder wherever you have installed XAMPP. I have installed it in C and XAMPP folder. And in here, I have told you that in this HT docs, all your program files will be there, right? These all will be there. So what we are going to do is we are going to make a new folder here and we will call it as anything, whatever you like, for example, tutorial or YouTube whatever you wish to write here YouTube okay so and go in that folder and we are going to create a new PHP file here okay so just go to your notepad plus plus and copy the same location whatever you made right now this just copy the location of the folder YouTube in my case, you can change it as your personal folder in htdocs. Remember, it should be in htdocs. And then go to your notepad plus plus, which we have installed right uh, in the last video. Click this tab here, right click it and save as. And you can search for the path wherever you want to save it. So you, you want to save it in the same folder as your. Um, as your XAMPP, right? So here is my XAMPP folder and HD docs, and this folder I have uh, created YouTube, and in here I'm going to write my or create my first PHP program. I will name it as test.php, for example, and I will save it. And now we can start our programming. By the meantime, this uh, XAMPP server has already started and in here when we start this server, it will still give you this error because in the config file you need to make the change. I've already told you that in when you go to this config here, it's 8080, right? So whenever you need to start the, this, if this server will be started on the port 8080 and not on the port uh, 80 right and uh, then you for now you don't need to start this mysql server we are not going to use this mysql database for now but start your apache server right now let's see what and how we can write our first hello world program so every PHP program starts with this script of with these tags. So it will start with uh, this tag, this sm smaller than symbol, then question mark, and then uh, PHP, and then it will end with this greater than symbol. Okay. And whatever code you will write in between here, I forgot to give this question mark here. So the starting tag is like this. Every code which you write in PHP will be written in between these two tags. So this tag is the starting tag. I will make it a little bit bigger so you can see. And so every PHP code will start from the tags like this and end with 
the tag like this okay so we will see in some slides what uh, does the php code look like structurally similar to c and c++ okay so our php code will be structurally similar to php uh, c++ and c in a way that it can be in, it can support procedural language like c uh, and it can be used as a object oriented programming also to some degree uh, which c++ is right uh, and, and this object oriented part we will uh, we are going to see it later but for now we are going to see the procedural part okay and all php statement end with a semicolon right and each php script must be enclosed in the reserved php tag like this and like this okay so i have already shown you this so i will go to our code here and i will write something to echo so uh, this echo function we use it for printing something on the browser for example and after this echo function whatever comes in these double quotes will be printed on the browser so for example hello world and remember every PHP statement end with semicolon so don't forget to add the semicolon at the end of your every line of the code right I will save this program and I will open my browser and I will write here localhost localhost and my port is 8080 so localhost colon 8080 you need to write if you are running on port 80 here not 8080 but only 80 you don't need to give this port number uh, port 80 is by default the local host port right if you are running on port other than 80 for example in my case i'm running on 8080 you need to give local host colon 8080 and the location of the php file you are in so if you remember we have created this youtube folder and inside this we have this uh, test.php okay so in our browser we will write youtube this is the folder and then you need to give the path of your text file right so just give slash test.php and when you run this or press enter you will be able to see this hello world here okay so this is the basic code to print hello world right and every uh, every code which you write in the php don't forget to end this code with this semicolon and uh, always start this uh, your php code with this starting tag like this and end with ending tag like this now to comment to give some comment for example uh, we will see in the slides so to give the comments php support c++ or java style comments like this slash double slash here it also sh supports shell style comment like this hash and it also supports c style comments like this so we will all we will see it all all the comments for example it supports this supports this double slash and whatever you can write here it will be uh, not executed by your uh, compiler right so for example i can write here this is a hello world code for example okay and whatever code you will write in this double slash or for example i can write write the same thing using my hash symbol okay and i can write the same thing using this uh, c style uh, comments like this slash asterisk asterisk slash and whatever you write in between this 
will be considered as a comment. So you can provide comments in three ways. In C++ style like double slash, in shell style using this shell or, or this hash or like C style using this slash and asterisk and asterisk and slash. And this all code which you write in this comment section will not be executed. So I will save this file and once again when I refresh this this code will not be executed. This is just for your reference. Okay. Now, for example, if you can, you can also say I, I, I want to print this hello world in two different lines. So I can just uh, write hello here and world here. And let's see what is the response. Response will always be the same. Okay. Because your line is ending here, right? It, and it is indicated by the semicolon so this code and this code will be considered as one line of code okay and php also support html tags so if you don't know how to uh, use html i have the playlist in my channel you can search for this html uh, tutorials or otherwise you don't even uh, need to follow those if you don't want to it's really easy uh, to uh, understand this HTML tag. So for example, I want to break this um, hello world and I want to print hello in one line and world in other line. I can use HTML tags like these and I can give this break tag to break the line. And for example, I want to print this world in capital, capital uh, letters or bold letters so I can uh, just give this bold tag here and and this tag like this okay and when i save this and when i run the program or when i run this on the screen i will refresh this once again you see hello on one line and world on other line and world is in bold letters right so this php supports HTML tags also right so this is how you can write your first co program or first hello world program in PHP in the later videos I'm also going to show you how to uh, code this PHP in uh, in details so that's it for uh, this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now